Across the island, a sudden groundswell of opposition to the Rajapaksa family and what's widely seen as a man-made crisis. Protesters defied a government curfew on Sunday, prompting Sri Lanka's entire cabinet to resign. All 26 members, except for the president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, and his brother, the former president, now prime minister, Mahinda Rajapaksa. After declaring a 36-hour curfew, the government cut off social media to try and prevent these demonstrations. In a suburb of Kandy, protesters' grievances were met with tear gas and water cannon. University students, professionals, mothers and children all came out despite government orders. We would like to tell the government that whatever happened today, they can't stop tens of thousands of people joining the struggle. It is a joke if the government thinks it can stop this people's protest by using barriers, tear gas or shooting. The economy is in tatters. It's the worst economic crisis in decades. People are angry at the skyrocketing cost of living, increasing shortage of essential goods and rolling blackouts. The government is saddled with huge debts and dwindling reserves that now limit its ability to bring in basic supplies. Critics say mismanagement, bad planning and corruption has aggravated the situation. We are stripped off of our basic rights, our right to fuel, our right to uh, energy. We don't have power for almost 16 hours a day now. Gas nap, it's so nap. There's no gas, there's no petrol, there is nothing to eat, there is no medicine. What can we do? If this continues, we will have to jump into the sea. With frustrations boiling over and protesters attempting to storm his home, President Rajapaksa assumed emergency powers and briefly blocked access to WhatsApp and other messaging services to stem the protests. It backfired. Opposition figures call the measures illegal. Sri Lanka is not a dictatorship. This is a democracy and we will fight for the rights of the people and we will fight to protect democracy in our motherland. What's more, the protests appear to be drawing people from across ethnic and religious lines, uniting to challenge the status quo, namely the ruling family in charge. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.